Like, look, so I'm going to simplify it like this. All the words. This is a record. Okay, wait, wait, if I were in college amazing. and I had this album, you should, I would bring a girl home and be like, hey, open should this new paint album. There's a place yeah, okay, called. Uh, I'm going to put it on. And it, like, it rocks out. And we're like really vibing and stuff like that. And by the time it gets to charts. Gas Town? I get to go up and sing songs. So why don't you do that? Uh, okay, well, um, what do we have? If it takes all night, before you leave, brightest night, where we are today, speaking in sound, push-pull scream, silent agenda, the sound of street lights, backroom decision, never quite sane, something with the word exit, and something word of mouth. Where we are today is pretty sick ass nasty. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is that the title? And we're back. Or rather, here for the first time. Hey, whoa. <laughs> that, that was bang on. That really. was pretty good. That was bang on. Uh, we're here above Maxwell's um, on, the, on show the show that has a blank title. Yeah, I was going to say the show. That must not be named yeah. or something, something terrible something, like that. Something terrible. With, with Rob of Paint. Rob, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate How it. How have you enjoyed Waterloo over the past two weeks? I miss Toronto. No, no. Really? I got <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, it's been a strange experience because I, I, I finally sort of in the luxury of being able to just do nothing but focus on a record yeah, for a few weeks and, and just live and breathe you. and eat it. So... Um, I haven't really experienced uh, Kitchener Waterloo that much. My right, my, right. my experience has been uh, sleeping and then going and working out at the. Uh, I got a two week pass at the Good Life, so I just I do that and then I do a vocal work and then I go to the studio all day and then I come home and I go to bed. So it's really weird. My my sense of reality is is kind of screwed up right now. But uh, right. I think it's allowed us, uh, especially myself and our producer Ian uh, Smith, who's in the. He's famous in this area. He was in the miniatures, and now he's in spirits. And uh, he and I have kind of melded our brains into one. Uh, we spent so much time together working on this, so the focus is there, and I think the record's sounding really great. And I tracked my last vocal yesterday. So awesome. Yes. <laughs> so I so, have a smoke and a drink and several more. <laughs> <laughs> nice bit of celebration. Clean living for a month. Yeah. I don't know how you live out here, though. <laughs> There's a lot of talented musicians. That's true. And I, you know. Maybe just more focus on music, less distractions. Right. Okay. It's sort of like the hi hat mic always gets turned off. Right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> there are just certain. It's kind of like mm, no, not gonna use that. But then every once in a while, there's a track that's like okay, yeah, we need that. Yeah. So. All right. Then that's done. The asshole no one sees. Casanova begging, please. The bath that drowned the singer. That's how the story goes. Can't be in the jeans. Gotta play loosely. In the shorts. <laughs> You'll be sweating a lot, so you wanna also wear one of these. Wife beater. Wife beater. Prepared, man. <laughs> and there's laundry downstairs, so you can wash them afterwards. <laughs> And there's a shower too, and, and a stairmaster, <laughs> fully prepared. Yeah. So you ready to rock this shit? Mm -hmm. I am ready to make a mean record. <laughs> Absolutely mean. So will this thing I will like to stop that doing now? Yeah. Keep going through. No, I'll mm -hmm. stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd stop and do it again, but... No, I would... Yeah, keep, keep motoring through. We'll just have to get started so you're comfortable. If you're feeling it, you're, we're gonna hear it. Okay. It's all about the vibes. Gone are the days that, you know, a band can go into a studio and, and get paid by a label and spend six months there and kind of, you know, write an album in the studio. So I guess, mm -hmm. did you guys have everything down going into the studio? Is there anything that you kind of tweaked while you were in there? Well, we've been stage testing a lot of the songs for a year and a half. Like, we've been touring with them, playing a lot of shows. And, um, 
refining them that way. So most of the songs we had a pretty clear idea of, of where we wanted them to go and then it was just a matter of kind of turning them over to Ian's ears and letting him kind of say, okay, well, how can we bring out even more out of these? Though there were a few songs that were that were newer that we didn't really get to play very much, and um, he definitely helped us to find the spirit of those songs more. So there were songs that maybe we came in and we weren't totally excited about, and now they sound great because we got to really realize what they could be. today, speaking in sound, push-pull scream, silent agenda, sound of street lights, backroom decision, never quite sane. So, okay. okay. Yeah. If it takes on... All right. Me. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that means no. I got two. Okay. <laughs> Before you leave. is every single part, every single guitar part, every single vocal, um, every little thing is, is a big deal. And uh, everything's important. Everything is the most important part yeah. of the album. You know, and yeah. He's taken that approach, so we're not selling ourselves short in terms of the potential of where any of these songs can go. Yeah. Yeah, I got good. excited when that sound hit. There were, this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you have free laugh featuring Rob's solo there, you could do, you can get a little nutty. Just feel free to just mess around. <laughs> tell it's the same band but right. still paint um, the songs are it's funny because we I, I kind of went to this thinking it was going to be more of a pop record mm -hmm. but it rocks a lot harder in some spots and it's got quieter moments so I, I think it's just sort of taken what we had going with the, with the last album uh, with can you hear me and uh, just kind of refining it a little bit and there's 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 more dynamics um, I think because we're playing more dynamically the concept with the band initially was everyone comes to see you in bars and in Vancouver they don't spend a lot of put a lot of attention into listening to the bands mm -hmm. so we just have to be as loud as we possibly can so they have no option but to sit there and, and watch you so the wall of sound has kind of come down a little bit uh, at times which I think has just allowed us more flexibility we've got some slower songs and some some, uh, some of the fastest stuff we've ever played the lineup is really tight and our drummer Andre has changed the band completely and Okay, you gotta stop, dude. You're gonna put us all out of work here. <coughs> Sorry, buddy. 
You don't actually really have to think about what a song's about and truly put yourself in the place, in the headspace of the song until you record it. Even when you write it, you don't even realize what it's about. You're just kind of writing it. And then you go into record it and you're like, oh man, this is intense. <laughs> yeah. um, and I've had a few moments recording the track for this where we had to sort of stop halfway through because it was just a little too emotional. It was like really heavy. Um, and it just kind of hits you. But Ian's been really good at kind of um, handling that and transforming that into a performance. So that's really helped. But there's a lot of personal stuff. I think there's, there's narratives in this album. There's a lot of different characters. Um, and what they all have in common is they're just all struggling with something. Um, and how are they dealing with that? So this album's really about... The last one, I think, was more about facing the struggle. This one's more about getting past it and, uh, and moving beyond it. And, and a lot of it has to do with either finding personal strength or uh, collective strength through friends and love and relationships. So it's, it's a very positive record. Yeah. ourselves in a better place it may just be where we are today i wonder what we would say if you sat with me in alaska's current left your service behind much less Great. Yeah, play with it. Not gonna keep it or nothing. <laughs> You're asking me to tell you what I mean. I don't mean it's a dance song. I mean like. <laughs> <laughs> well, percussions aren't gonna really do that. I, like. It doesn't have to be percussion, but like, even if you pull something out of the drum kit that like, so it's bigger in that section, that's fine. I just think that... Bigger in the verse? Yeah. Than the chorus? Stop making it sound like I'm crazy! <laughs> <laughs> today looking thematically at all of the songs and all the characters within the songs and the journeys that they're on that seems to capture the essence of like all it's of the songs as a whole you know it's actually where very, is everybody in this statement. album today it could be applied not just to the songs but to like us as a band and to anything well exactly yeah. uh, and it doesn't it doesn't really have any sort of like implication of we are better or we are worse. It's like, this is where we are. Yeah. It's like, it's reality. It's no interpretation of it. It's just like, it leaves it open to you to say, It might be the most we? obvious album name on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> Yet, I don't think it's actually been used <laughs> yeah. before, which is a good thing. You want something that's obvious. Yeah. You want something Google where people... that right now? What's that? Yeah. See what it's been used as? Yeah. You, you want something that people go, fuck, why didn't I... Name my album. Now. <laughs> because it's so obvious. All right, what done. Just completely blow my wad at the end.
the tent. <laughs> <laughs> when the moon is just another street light Broken hearts are mendable Wounded knees will heal The only thing we have to lose is our lives Everything is visible You think you can't conceal Cause your life's a debt that you can't repay When you reach the end of the reel Everything you said and made All these things they don't mean a thing Everything they take away are those things you can some melodic stuff mm -hmm. but the secret was the feel because mm -hmm. Ian like had this idea that it had to be funky or something mm -hmm. and I was trying to play it funky but then I'm not I'm just going to play it straight mm -hmm. and just play it like The difficulties, I don't know, we've, we've been pretty good, you know, our band doesn't have a lot of deep-seated underlying kind of issues with each other or anything, and we, we generally get along, so sometimes in the studio those things do get amplified if you don't have it worked out beforehand, but uh, we're pretty good at, at being open with, with the dialogue and everything, so it's, it's been okay. Yeah. Um, it's definitely helped to highlight some of our bad habits as musicians. Uh, and Ian's been really good at you know, calling us on those when we're doing them, so, so that's good. Hopefully we can learn from that. Another time and place. 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 We're going to do that one again. What did I do? Just a little bit slumpier than I could have been. A little bit, wouldn't I? Sloppy. Well, <laughs> that's because I'm playing it sloppy. <laughs> you want me to play it the camera? Like, I can, I can play it differently. No. No. I like the jang the way you're doing it. But more for the track or less for the camera. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, won't lie in wait. For another time and place I think that's the best I've hit.
hit that eye. Yeah, that is a good <laughs> eye. So we can comp it at least. Oh, it's been a hoot. What well, really has it been? <laughs> a lot of jokes, a lot of bad musician jokes. A lot of tea. Lots and lots of tea. Healthy physically, dirty mentally. <laughs> Hey, what's worse than finding a dead baby on a pillow in the morning? Realizing that you got drunk the night before and made love to it. <laughs> Am I crazy? Oh! What the fuck happened there? I had a burp stuck in my throat. <laughs> You'll see the burp? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. How is this right now? How does it sound? I think my nuts are gonna turn brown. Yes, they are, and I'm gonna stick them right down your throat, and you're gonna gag on them. Yeah. What they say if the walls too tall today? Available in handy tub size? <laughs> Why would you need a tub of this? <laughs> Today! The, the creepy thing, we've kind of morphed into one person. <laughs> We're both Aquarians, apparently, I learned. That's true. Spending so much time together. Uh, yeah. We, we did look to the stars, you know, when we should make this record. <laughs> we're gonna, I'm going to have some separation anxiety when I go home. Likewise, man. <laughs> well, we knew when Jupiter entered Uranus, that's his <laughs> boyfriend's name, it was the right time to, to make the record. <laughs> I was just thinking, almost like bordering on like metal distortion, you know, like really just dirty as fuck. No, what, yeah, geography. No, exactly. It feels more like where we are is like where we are located, whereas where we are today is like it talks about your emotional state, your personal state. Your I feel like, state, you know, I want, you know, someone who reads the album and like think about something mm -hmm. specifically, not give it like too open. You know? Right. All right, where we are so, but today. But I think but where we are today, today is pretty, yeah, it, it does. Can, it feels it narrows it at least, At least it narrows it yeah. down, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This means that we could go back to the paint swatch idea. Maybe I'll take some pictures on my iPhone. Where we are today. Where we are today. Where we are today. Where we fucking are today. Where we fucking are today. <laughs> Where we fucking are today. That's it. All right. Fucking are. Okay. Done. Good work. This is how we read these blocks. Cheers.
Just making a great record. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Congratulations, everybody. Sunshine, she said. 